people so if you are wondering how to remember the names of uh, cephalosporins which is very difficult so let us try some clues here which can help so we have five generations in cephalosporins first generation second generation then you have third generation cephalosporins then you have fourth generation and fifth generation cephalosporins as of now okay so let's try to remember a few names only not all of them so let's start with the first one here so basically first of all you know what cephalosporins are right cephalosporins are what they are beta lactam ring they contain beta lactam ring so they are also beta lactam antibiotics okay so in that you have five generations first generation and all they are more against gram positive so remember these are all against gram positive initially first for, first they are positive remember first generation uh, they are mostly against gram positive they won't cross blood brain barrier etc here you have example cefazolin so just remember angelina jolie zoli cefazolin prototype drug is angelina jolie cefazolin okay then you have other things this these are all parental which is on this side these are parental so cefazolin in angelina jolie injection cefazolin oral will be cefalexin cefadroxil if you want you can put some clues and remember that now coming to second generation remember ceph furoxine so i just found the fury is some movie in which brad pitt is there okay so ceph furoxine so uh, angelina jolie brad pitt ceph furoxine second generation then oxy ceph oxitin ceph oxitin you have heard in uh, cephalococcus aureus how to detect whether it's uh, cephalococcus is resistant you will use ceph oxitin disc remember so remember ceph oxitin so now first generation second generation you have finished you have understood the names correct the names are clear for you cefazolin cefuroxine cefoxitin okay three names you have learned other names you have to learn by yourself see second generation is not used much that's what they say so let us move on to third generation very very important now third generation look at the names look at the parenteral names cefotoxime ceph fort oxime see ceph is common c e f or c e p h this much is common in everything no change there now ceph ceph fort oxime ceph fort oxime okay ceph fort oxime the ceph fort ceph fort oxime is a prototype remember and it is a prototype for third generation these are starting to become active against gram negative bacteria so they can even cross slightly blood brain barrier so they are active against meningitis so neisseria men uh, meningitis you can they act against enterobacteriaceae all of these are going to be active against enterobacteriaceae like e coli salmonella yersinia pestis so a lot of gram negative bacteria klebsiella proteus all of them get covered under these because these are effective against gram negative also so let us look at the first one what did we see prototype fort oxime cefort oxime cefort oxime cef safety zoxime safety zoxime here you have to remember t safety zoxime okay then look at the tree safety axone you have seen this for typhoid treatment right safety axone have you seen safety axone for typhoid treatment safety axone there's a tree here safety axone for what typhoid it is the most reliable and fastest for treatment of typhoid but is very expensive drug all of these are parenteral remember safety axone over so now what are all names you learned in third generation fort oxime so fort oxime safety zoxime safety axone then you have dime here this is a dime right in us they use these dimes you know this is safta zidime safta zidime safta zidime safta zidime it's effective against pseudomonas etc then you have zone study zone see this is a zone for you ceph para zone ceph para zone so this is also active against pseudomonas this is actually excreted in bile it has dull disulfiram like reaction so green green remember okay excreted in bile and all that so did you get the parenteral third generation drugs so guys uh, please wake up if you are sleeping did you understand the names of the third generation parenteral part at least can you say without seeing yes there was a fortoxime there was a tezoxime there was a uh, what was that tree ceftriaxone there was a dime ceph ceftazi dime then cefoperazone okay say it again cefotoxime ceftizoxime ceftriaxone ceftazi dime zi dime and cefoperazone okay so we are done with these parenteral drugs now let us look at the oral drugs oral we will just look at these first three okay 
others if you want you can look at later so just remember zyme is there everywhere okay here i can see zyme 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 is there everywhere actually zyme is pretty common here i think okay so just remember cephic zyme oral okay oral you are saying cephic zyme okay here we are cephic zyme so just remember zyme then podox zyme see here podox zyme ceph podox zyme some podo is looks like some camera or something okay so ceph podox zyme then you have dinner ceph dinner as simple as that look at this dinner photo so ceph dinner okay so now can you say the oral drugs cephigzyme ceph podoxime some proxital ceph podoxime proxital ceph dinner that's all okay so you are done with the third generation cephalosporins third generation cephalosporins can you say so all of them parenteral ceph fortoxime ceftizyme zozyme ceftizozyme ceftizozyme ceftriaxone ceftazidime cefoperazone cefixime cefpodoxime proxital cefdinum very good now let's go to fourth generation cefepime cefepime you can remember for fourth generation cefta rolin for fifth generation fifth generation they'll be rolling so look at this diagram Cef, uh, fourth generation is pime cefepime and fifth generation will be cefta rolling he'll be rolling cefta rolin it is okay Ceftaroline fosamil actually this is a pro drug it will be converted into ceftaroline it is active against MRSA that is uh, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus okay then you have another one ceftobiprol ceftobiprol if you want you can remember that so basically let us revise all the names of cepha cephalosporins look at the diagram and say quickly cefazolin cefuroxime cefoxitin say again Cefazolin, cefuroxime, cefoxitin, cefotoxime, ceftizozyme, ceftriaxone, ceftazidime, cefoperazone, cefixime, cefopodozyme, cefdinner, cefepime, ceftarolin. Very good, very good. Concept also you should understand. Cephalosporins are also having beta ring, beta lactamase ring. They have that beta lactam ring, right? And uh, initially they were active against gram positive. They were not crossing blood brain barrier. Then slowly they started becoming resistant to gram negative uh, also. The beta lactamase is produced by gram negative. So you can see in third generation they are active against gram negative and they slightly cross blood brain barrier also. So you can use them to treat meningitis, typhoid, pseudomonas aeruginosa also they are active against, right? Then coming to uh, fourth generation also they cross blood brain barrier. Right, then cephalo fifth generation, you can see they are active against MRSA also, methicillin resistant cephalococcus aureus. Okay, so concept you have understood hopefully. That's all for now. Bye bye.